Today is day one, we just got our handover checklist at Amokyo. So as you can see, the whole place is empty and it's ours. We're going to start on this project. We have about 25 days exactly to finish this whole thing. I don't know how we're going to do it, but I'm excited to change this whole place into the biggest MDS center ever. So let's go! Today is day 4 and as you can see, we have already finished laying the floor cement screen. Even though it's empty and bare, I have to meet with the interior designer to go through the specifications of the place, the design, the concept, the measurements, the fittings and you know, so much work behind the scenes that you cannot see. Hey, I'm David and I was working on the, the window designs for the, the three windows here at the, my drum school. I was working closely with Tan who's the interior designer and we, were, we wanted a use some of the concepts and the ideas that were on the inside of the shop to bring it to the outside. So we used a lot of the, the circle patterns. And we also wanted to make it very dynamic and very exciting. So we, we wanted to find the right images and do the right sort of, um, the right treatment for the images. So they're, they're nice. We have three bold images uh, with nice effects on the three people, all students and teachers of the drum school. And it's going to be very, very cool from the outside. It's going to draw people's attention and hopefully get them to come up here and play the drums. Today is the day I get to have the first look at our new Amokyo branch. I've been here since 2014 and there are many great memories here. I've seen students grow up and are really excited about this new phase of the Amokyo branch era. Okay, so let's have a look, shall we? Oh. It's so big! I'm not used to spaces this big. Let me see. Rock pool is here, so I'm guessing this is where the first studio is. Oh, I'm really excited how it's going to look when everything is done up. I think uh, both the educators and the students will be very excited also. I think James is uh, settling this, this awesome space for pantry. Wow, this one really can't wait. <laughs> wow, this will be the largest center ever. It's like a holiday resort. It can be done in two weeks. <laughs> We've got uh, everything is possible. Still much bigger than what we have now. Nice! My current office is like... I like it. I like it a lot. After I stepped in, I was really shocked at the amount of space that we have. So I'm really excited to start teaching with my students in the new studios with the new drum kits. Okay, so today is day 9 of renovations and as you can see, you know, they have already done up the aircon pipe. So what we need to do is to really make sure that the aircon is uh, insulated, that the sound doesn't travel. We have also done up all the partitions. So not fully complete, but it's very important that we treat the place properly and we do a nice soundproof. So it takes a lot of work to put the rock wool in, to measure, to align, to make sure we comply to the fire safety uh, regulations as well. So let's walk through the place. This is the entrance. Uh, this is going to be like the opening area. We're going to have a small little drinking area there. Um, first studio. This is the student area. So there will be like notice boards and all where they uh, take off their shoes. This is another studio here. Second studio. This is our third studio. Fourth studio. And our office, our new office.
Alright, so we're nine days away from opening and as you can see, this is the whole corridor leading to the office. So right now, we're just left with the ceiling, the flooring, the painting, the furnishing and all the carpentry works. Okay, we also need to do up the whole frontage, the signboard and the TVs and the living area and there's so many more things to do and we only have nine more days. Hi, my name is Tan. I'm the concept interior designer for my drum school. James approached me, uh, was it in April, May? and Today, we are here to look at the secondary color, the blue. By doing so, we have to select the blue that acts like a really great canvas. It doesn't look like a happy blue, corporate blue. So it has to be a very moody blue that is stylish, but also not aggressive or rude. Um, hopefully, we can find one today. Then the wooden hand is away from the glass, at least certain, uh, certain distance, right? My drum school is something somewhere here. Yeah. Today is day 22 and you can see the lights are up, walls are painted, studio carpet ready. This is our office, table, cabinets, glass door, the signage and our DB box still in a mess. Nigel from 16 Beat Drums. It's unpacking equipment day. Jenny, Solomon, Christine, Edna all to help unpack all the equipment that we have so that we are ready for the opening. You can see two very strong women here. <laughs> Mr. Solomon here working very hard. You can see he's dressed for the occasion. Okay, can you all explain what you are doing? <laughs> huh? Just carrying things. Just carrying things. <laughs> Maybe you're making it worse, you also don't know. <laughs> Time now is 2 a.m. and you can see that we are still far from done. Everyone is still here cleaning up. Okay, so the time is 2.30 and let's see. We still have Solomon here <laughs> working hard. Getting all our tech ready for tomorrow's opening. 